All right, everybody, we're back with another episode of Sound Bites. I'm Garrett. I'm Ben. And we're here with Bike Rec. Go ahead and introduce yourselves, guys. No, I am Start in the middle of the game. I'm Dylan. Uh, I'm Tom. I'm Mitch. And they're Bike Rec. We're going to make guacamole and chips. Oof. We're going to make our own good. chips. We're going to fry them. And it might go in frying stuff badly. So we bought, nope, we bought backups. No, no we didn't. No we didn't. Because we're <laughs> confident. All authentic, all original, all the time. Alright, let's get some ingredients. First up, avocado. Avocado number five. <laughs> Lime. Onion. Jalapeno. Cilantro. Tomatoes. Yes. Garlic pepper. Or salt. I don't Powder. Pepper. Salt. Now we can cook. Now. We can use a knife. Wait. There you go. Oh, right in the bag. Okay, I learned something. While we're cutting and, and washing and dicing and splicing, how did you guys meet? What what uh, what formed the band? Oh, so we all have a we have a mutual friend by the name of Chris Boyle. That's true. Um, right. Chris Boyle. Um, and he no. kind of he kind of just introduced all of us. I met Dylan. He was like living in our lounge. Which was real weird, and I played trumpet at the time, and he played bass. I was like, yo, let's like jam out and stuff. And uh, and we did that, and it was fun. And then our buddy Chris was like, hey, I got a drummer friend. And then like, we met and jammed out, and it was great and fun. The rest is history. That's cool. Now we live happily ever after, and only sometimes want to kill each other. What about the name? Where did the name come from? I crashed my bike. Um, and it was lame and bad. And then I was joking, and I was like, hey, that bike rack could be the name of the band. And then it was. And then it, yeah, yeah, it was. yeah, it was like on a list of like 17 other like shitty names, and then we just kind of like whittled it down. For all y'all cooking along with us at home, yeah. you're cooking along with us. You're cooking along with us. Tell us what, yeah. tell us what food processor you're using. Yeah. Tell us what ingredients you're using. Uh, but anyways. Uh, <laughs> next step is the pulsing. We're gonna put the cilantro, a jalapeno, and the onion in there. Uh, so we're gonna Whoa, cut are, we gonna, are we gonna keep the seeds in the jalapeno? Are we no, doing it? we're oh. not doing that. How yeah. many chips do you I'm just gonna go ahead and say, I, I fucked up and cut yeah, my finger. Yeah, that's my have <laughs> I wanted to do this on the I was, I was cutting the avocado and I wasn't paying attention, so I cut my finger. Oh, uh, we're about to pulse some avocado. I Let's think. pulse some avocado. Yeah. Really official. Yeah. That takes away all the fun. She's going. Yeah, yeah, we're pulsing. <laughs> we're pulsing. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, I know. So I want to start right, right. Chopping. chopping. So do you guys, yeah. any of you guys live together? Uh, oh, I love Tom. Yes, yes Tom, he does. Tom and Dylan have been living together. Do you cook together? We don't, we don't cook right, together. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're a better band than hey, we are chefs, I promise. Can you ask? While uh, Tom, Tom is destroying these ideas. Well. But he is wrecking you like <laughs> bike wrecking. Oh my god. What is one song that you guys like wish or would want to cover, you know? Oh. And it doesn't even have to be like something that's like, oh, another three piece, or just it could be like the most outlandish thing you ever. For played. sure, party in the USA minus iron. Oh yeah. Hands down. Yeah, we're gonna do some Jonas Brothers down. covers now that they're back. For real. Nice. <laughs> Okay, okay, thoughts on the new Jonas Brothers track? I haven't listened to it. I just, I just looked at the album yeah. cover and was like, wow. I think they, they look great. They look great, they they look great man. man. That's style, though. Mm. <laughs> you, are you crying? No. <laughs> You're crying. Cool. So, we've got the onion chopped. Um, we've got the chunky goodness of the avocado removed and into the bowl. Uh, now we're going to add some jalapeno and some cilantro. Okay, taking the seeds out because we're not hardcore. Dylan is gonna get gloved I'm up, oh, yeah. so he doesn't hurt his eyes. Oh yeah, responsible. Dylan's doing a pretty good job of cutting up his jalapeno. Yeah, we gotta say. Step, I don't know what step we're on, but we're gonna process the food again. Hit it. It's a sign of success. Yeah. Ooh. This doesn't say coriander, does it? No. That's well, it's not. <laughs> That'd be Yo, bad. You guys like are they really? Coriander with the flowers. Oh. This is 
been a very educated <laughs> day. <laughs> Alright, I just put some cilantro in the process bowl. How much cilantro did you put in? Um, just like 17 and a half grams. Yeah. Alright. You're here first. <laughs> Tomatoes are up next. Right. Oh, oh, yes, yeah. sucks! <laughs> One, One tomato! tomato. Two tomatoes! How many tomatoes though? <laughs> I don't know, put like one? six of them in there. <clears throat> oh, that's beautiful. So, I think now would be a great time to add some lime. First, you gotta roll them, and then you cut them in half, and then you squeeze. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Alright guys, why did, why did we choose guacamole today? <coughs> what, was, what was the decision process there? It's arguably the best food that exists. Yeah. Homemade chips! <laughs> I'm not really sure how this pepper works. Dude, just grind it. Probably. Yo, dog. Um, take the. Here. It's all the truth. That's all that. That's all you. We're going in. Right. Wish me luck, boys. Alright, you got it. Chip has already broke okay. the chip. <laughs> More lime. Lime it, dude. <laughs> dude. Done. Hit me with the lime. That's a quarter. You want you want more? All of it. All the whole wine? Well, well yeah, that just all of that quarter. Oh. <laughs> all right, how are we doing, Dylan? Yeah, we're good. I'd say a little more lime, maybe. maybe a little more lime! Right. You don't even have to mm. get all that wine up in there. Dude, get it in there. Yeah, yeah. What do we think? What's the good crunch? Yeah. There's way too much wine. <laughs> 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 Which one of you is the most accident prone? Mm. Tom Hoover for sure. I mean, his bike wreck named the band. I was definitely me. Definitely Mitch also like dropped a washer on me once. But just cut my thumb tonight, right. so I don't know what was saying. I was, but that's. Do you guys have anything coming out that people should be looking out for? Any shows coming up? Any new music anywhere? Social media to play. Social media. Yeah, we got a band camp. Bikewreck.bandcamp.com. Band Check camp. that out. We got an Instagram. Instagram right there. Bike wreck. Got the gram. We got one more thing for you guys to do. We're gonna draw. Oh. Now I can't draw at all, but we're gonna do it anyways. Okay. Each of us is gonna draw a bicycle. Pass one down, take one down, pass it around. Everyone find a surface. You have 30 seconds also. I'll count. Anna's counting. Ready? And go. That's bike win. Time. Yeah. Alright, pens down everybody. This is my bike. As you can see, the handlebars do not control the wheel, so you can't turn. But, and there's also no pedals, so. So yeah, we got your classic racing bike here. Some really nice tires. Um, there, are, There is a pedal. There's a chain, handlebars. That's a functioning bike. It's a uh, functioning bike. Works. Um, I drew mine to be super utility. So mine actually has um, like a big basket on the back and then like also like a little bit mini basket like on the front yeah. so you can carry all your stuff. Yeah. Um, it's got half a chain so it's like, Almost functional. You might need to take it to the shop, but at least it's a bright sunny day. For wow, Mr. Sunline. Yeah. Let's see, this is a 1983 Schwinn Racer. Actually, <laughs> this is a. Uh, it's uh, not exactly to scale, but it's pretty close. The uh, the spokes are really <coughs> different, but yeah. So yeah, mine's like from around the same time as Dylan's. This is 1982 Nishiki, which is actually an Asian bike company that went out of business. So this is real vintage. Uh, it's 21 speeds, um, and it has a shadow. You would think that the best bike wins. Oh. But actually, the worst bike wins because that's what's most similar to a bike rack. It, it, well, used to, it clearly used to be a good bike, but it's lying on the ground. The yeah. pedals are bent. You're right. That's true. Yeah, so I think, as far as functionality goes, I think classic bike Mitch rack. wins. That's all right. Still represent bike rack. It's this Sound Bites. You watched it. We love you. We're here with Bike Rack. I'm Garrett. I'm Ben. This, this is Bike, bike Rack. <laughs> Mm. Mm.